Yeah. Okay, so what do you do with a person who says, well, Cliff, I'm just at the beginning, what do I do? I say, you know, I wish you and I could take a trip to the Grand Canyon. And as we're standing there at the edge of the Grand Canyon, if I say to you, wow, aren't I awesome? <sighs> That's embarrassing. Cliff, you're standing in front of the Grand Canyon. It is so awe-inspiring, and what are you caught up with? Myself. Okay, now we're not gonna be able to do that, are we, George? You and I are not gonna be able to go to the Grand Canyon today or tomorrow. All we gotta do is go out tonight when it's real dark. Look about the moon and the stars. Begin to contemplate the vastness of the galaxy, the vastness of the universe. Am I gonna stand there and say, wow, George, aren't I awesome? That is to part company with reality. Yes, we are awesome because God created us, and that's good. But there is something, someone far bigger than Cliff, far bigger than all of us put together. And when you begin to contemplate that and allow the awesomeness of God, the awesomeness of the majesty of his creation to sink in, you're beginning to open up your heart to God.